Alright, here we are playing Gilded Gauntlet by Not Quickman, a Mega Man Maker forum posted stage. And yeah, it looked pretty nice, so I wanted to try it out here. And yeah, we're gonna be playing a few stages in today's video. Um, two or three I would like to fit in, um, just because we do have a lot of stages built up here now. Uh, <laughs> And I want to get some out of the way, if you will, so we don't build up too many here. So yeah, I'm gonna be playing this one here from Not Quick Man. I'm gonna be playing a level from Oscar and a stage from the Proto Player. So yeah. Whoa! Oh, dude! Oh wow! This is really tricky here. I guess. Yeah, let's try this again. Uh, okay. Yeah, I see what you need to do there. You, you gotta just. Well, repel this guy and jump up and shoot the Mega Man 3 enemy there. And here we have some, yeah, some pretty neat gimmick usage. Yeah, we're, you know, we're starting off on a strong uh, level here. This is a pretty well-made one, I would say. Way better than your typical, you know, newest Q level that you see. You know, nice gimmick progression here, and some pretty cool uh, visuals as well. Very reminiscent of the Gilded Citadel that um, Gamer from the Web uploaded a while back. In terms of visual, in terms of visuals, I should say. Huh. Oh well. Yeah, I really like this too. Huh? Some nice challenges here, like how, yeah, they have the range advantage, and you just gotta, oh my, <laughs> oh, yo, yo. you just gotta jump through the hoops, if you will. Very nice, good checkpoint placement as well. Yeah, I'm enjoying this level, uh, this is a pretty damn good one. Okay, so we're gonna have these now. They aren't too bad. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. You see, it's very nice because <clears throat> all enemies, like, when you see these guys here, like, uh, not Quickman has always made it so that, like, okay, so here, here one comes, and then, you know, you can expect another one. You know, they. Once, a, once an enemy starts appearing, you know, you will have a few screens with them, so you can kind of, you know, yeah. You can kind of steal yourself and prepare for what's to come here. I like how it's uh, presented everything here. I, I don't know if that made sense. Uh, hopefully it did, but... Yeah. <clears throat> Holy... Oh, dude, that was sick. Yeah, I especially like that last segment there. That was really cool. How you <laughs> just went there and shot the Mets while platforming, essentially, yeah. Uh. It's gonna be hard for the other two stages to top this one, <laughs> in terms of quality. This is a pretty, pretty down uh, good level here. And what the heck is this dude doing? He's just giving it to me. Well, then again, it's not very hard to dodge Pharaoh Man either way when he's moving around. And apparently we have more stage. Oh, okay, well, <laughs> that's it for that, I guess. Very nice. Well, we're 100% gonna be uploading this one. This was a very cool level. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and give that one a like. Very nice job, not quick, man. Uh, <clears throat> good visuals, nice gimmicks. Uh, yeah, good enemy placements, all of that. Yeah, just a very solid stage overall. So yeah, I'll see you in the next level. We're gonna do a Oscar stage next. So yeah, see you there in a bit. All right, so here we are uh, with a Roll Adventure Bandland by Oscar One Two Fifty Eight. Okay, I'll just cut that out. That loaded for like a good ten seconds or something. So yeah. And what do we have here? 
This might actually be a custom stage built by Oscar for once, which, yeah, I'm very happy about that, if that is indeed the case. Um, yeah, we have only seen, like, and that is hella weird. Like, look at this. <laughs> Whoa. Huh. But yeah, it's nice to see some custom levels from him here, so, you know, we don't play old NES games all the time. Nice and refreshing. Whoa. <laughs> okay, well, so now we know we gotta be very careful of Bambis. And apparently you slide on these tiles here. Look at this. <laughs> By the way... Yeah, okay, we do have the invincibility roll too there. Very cool. Yeah, decent level this year too. Ooh, oh god, we gotta run. <laughs> nice. Nicely timed, and what the heck is this? Do I just jump down? Oh, oh god, dude, that was... That was scary. Well... Hmm. Oh no, dude. Well... We're waiting here for a while? Okay, so apparently these are two different paths and what the... Holy crap, dude. Uh, yeah, I like that little segment there. <laughs> oh, oh, jeez, dude, what the? Oh, why did I try and rush it? That was stupid of me. Oh, I should have just taken my time there. You know what? Let's uh, let's try this path instead now, since we died there on that one. Okay, so this is for the E-Tank. Well, get the E-Tank, reset from checkpoint, and I'll cut back and see you back there at the place where I died just now. Okay, so <clears throat> this time I'm just gonna take it one box at a time. I'm not gonna rush it at all. Yeah. <laughs> That's just how it's gonna have to be. So we don't die here stupidly again. Alright, very nice. We made it through that time. Really shouldn't have died twice. Oh, whoops. I was gonna reset him. I assume we're gonna need him anyway here. Okay. <laughs> yeah, pretty interesting. I'm just trying to focus here so we don't die stupidly. Yeah, pretty cool little section there. Nice. And a checkpoint. Very nicely placed checkpoint there as well. Whoa. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <gasps> oh! <laughs> okay, this is gonna be hard. I can definitely tell that this is gonna be pretty darn tricky here. Nice. Okay. What the heck? Oh, dude, you just gotta trust it. Huh. I do like these things here as decorations too. 
Kind of like that other level we saw. Made by Toxin. Oh, oh, I see. You gotta... Yeah. Yump hoops, essentially. But yeah, I'm not gonna go for that uh, uh, power up back there, I don't think. Yeah. If it was a guaranteed E tank, sure, but not if it's just, you know, one of those random boxes there. It might just be a small health for all we know. <laughs> Notes are about, about. Uh, kind of like a music stage of sorts. <laughs> and this is pretty interesting. Now we're going up instead of down here with the Bambis. And this seems to be the boss. Okay. Well, it was a nice little stage here, I would say. This is a pretty interesting boss room here for Shade Man. Yeah. Whoa, did you see that? He actually bounced up, and holy crap, he takes a lot of damage. Oh, I, and I see he can't actually reach me. Huh. So, I guess you could try and fight him like this here. Well, nice little stage there. We had some nice little platforming segments there. Oh, yeah. Let's give that one an up for the, a decent stage uh, all around. It was nice to play something new uh, from Oscar that, you know, I don't think this was a remake of a NES title anyway. So yeah, you know, that was indeed a very nice thing there for one. So yeah. So let's see here. Next, we will go into Proto Players level. I'll just load it up and I'll see you there in a bit. And here we are. Forgotten Factory, Turkey, Rockman, Doc, Robotized. Rockman, Doc. Huh. Well, don't know what that is about. Uh, <laughs> I guess we'll see. I wonder if it's a remake from a older Mega Man title that, or if it's... Uh, yeah, who knows. Who knows? And yes, I cut out the weight there, so yeah, we can have to sit through there. Oh, and this begins very similarly to the Proto Player's last level. Yeah, we get a choice here of what we want to play with. Huh. Well, last time we played as Proto Man, so let us do best, I guess. Oh, dude, he has to double jump. Nice. Okay, well, I'm glad we went the best then. And yeah, pretty cool visuals here, I gotta say. Some, some kind of a trashy. <laughs> huh. Oh, yeah, and with Pass here, we can really just. Yeah bypass a lot of this. Is this kind of, like, supposed to be a, you know, a dark revamp of Dustman's level or something? You know, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, just whatever. I will say, though, that the level looks very nice. I definitely do look, do look, do look this. I do really like this. This is pretty awesome here. Even nicer visuals than the Proto Player's last level there. This looks... yeah. Yeah, this looks really cool. And yeah, we can only assume there will be fire in these tubes a bit later on in the stage. Whoops. Oh, <laughs> okay. Huh? So we're gonna be having those as well. Yeah, we have a pretty good setup here, like, we have the conveyor belts, we have the electricity. 
and those laser guys walking around in here. Oh yeah, the keys, so we're probably gonna be having... Oh, yeah, we're gonna be having upgrade rooms again, I guess. <laughs> yeah, nice combination here of the gimmicks. <laughs> yeah, like... Very solid level, I will say. I'm definitely quite impressed with this one. It's either this one or the Gilded Gauntlet here that's, uh, you know, <laughs> the best uh, status here of the video. I, yeah, I can already say that much. I really do like these two entries here. Very nice. Like, both, both, both. <laughs> from a visual perspective and also from a enemy layout perspective and gimmicks. Yeah, it, it like, floats together very well in here. Did I say float? I mean, meant fl flow together, or yeah. <laughs> uh. I might actually go back and replay this level uh, off camera. We'll see. Maybe I'll do it on camera too. But yeah, I would like to try and play this with regular Mega Man as well. I feel like Bass is making the level a little bit easier than it should be, like, with his jumps here. I would have liked to have Mega Man to add some more challenge for myself. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, this is a pretty cool setup with Stone Man. Yeah, I've seen this before. But yeah, I like this stuff here. Like, whenever he uh, knocks the screen, you know, it starts shaking and you can load in out of bounds out of bounds objects and in this case it's gonna be the falling crates here yeah yeah what a what a what a nice level this year has been like seriously really awesome stuff really gets down the whole dust man vibe you know really really freaking well I could see this being a normal you know, Mega Man game. Feels very traditional, like. Looks nice and plays nice. Hmm. Oh, I see, that killed, that killed Stone Man all the way over there. That was, yeah, that, that's what that was all about there. <laughs> Yeah, I've been playing around with this too much, and actually, can we... Huh. Well, unfortunately, nothing was hidden up there. <laughs> yeah, this weapon is, is actually pretty darn good. Oh, here. You can just kind of... Yeah. Take care of them without getting into contact with them. And yeah, even here, like, thanks to Bass, you know, he can just drop the ladder and jump again to more quickly proceed. And yeah, okay. So we could go over there as well, but yeah, this here looks like a secret, so I'll be going here instead. And very nice, we got a key for it. Oh, and yeah, that's right, I forget, um, or forget, I forgot that this here pierces armor in the late cracker, so yeah, we might want to rock this for a while too. What? What am I doing? Ah. Uh, you gotta be. Patient! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's start playing a little bit more solid here. I really like these pipes here, like the orange pipes with the caps on here. I wonder what game they are from. Like, I wanna play around with them a bit myself, I feel like these are very nice looking. Look at this, just... <laughs> Bass just jumps over everything 
He's a freaking... Yeah. He's a force. Mm hmm? Here's what we're gonna... Yeah, here's what we are gonna do. Just take him up with a shotgun. And, yeah, definitely gonna get, get this. And we're gonna head in... Jeez, dude, I'm tripping all over my words. We're gonna hang on to the rest of the keys. I don't really think we'll be needing the E-Tanks there. Just yet. I'll save the keys if we get another item room. Or maybe... Oh, okay, okay. So, that was the ending shop there. Well, it's fine. Let's see if we can beat this guy just like this without using an E-Tank or anything. Hmm. Yeah, I'm doing pretty well here, I gotta say. Of course, Sparkman is one of the easier robot monsters, so it's not like I'm trying to brag. <laughs> I am aware that he's one of the easier ones. Oh, okay, and that was not the end of the level. Okay, okay. I somehow just got stuck up there for a second. Huh. Another one of these, eh? <laughs> We're kind of matching colors with the blocks here. I thought I screwed myself for a second there. Yeah. The bubble of it. Doesn't seem to work very well on the dust blocks there. And apparently... The freaking T-Blade just... <laughs> goes right through the machine gun Yo's shield there. Yeah, see, this hero would also have been more challenging. Like, if I only had Mega Man here, I would have had, you know, I would have to be careful when you shoot here so you don't destroy the dust blocks here so you can jump up here. That's also very interesting. But yeah, since I picked Bass, I can just shoot willy nilly here. <laughs> well, so I definitely got the easy mode by picking this dude, then, I think. that and if you get a yeah okay let's just let's just go ham now let's just spend it all here <laughs> feels so good nice and yeah so yeah I guess if you do skip the prism earlier on and don't rebuy it you could get an additional two e-tanks here there yeah Pretty cool, and if you're playing the Violet Challenge, you'll get some one-ups as well, so yeah. And this might be the final boss. Let's try and beat him with the regular buster, and yeah, even here, uh, it's gonna be very helpful to have Bass. Because, yeah, well... <laughs> Just shoot sheepmen at all times. Whoops! <laughs> it landed right on my face. And I did it again. Dude, don't stand underneath him. That's, yeah, kind of stupid. And I almost did it again. Here is. Nice. Yeah, like, very solid level. Very solid level overall. Like, it's gonna be hard to say which one I like better between this and the Gilded Gauntlet. Like, 
I think I just slightly like this one better than the Gilded Gauntlet, but yeah, it's it's by a little bit. Uh, <laughs> like, yeah, it had amazing visuals, it had pretty good, pretty darn good uh, gimmick usage, and you know, the enemies and all of that felt right, and you know, creative level, I can definitely see why it does have as many plays and upvotes as it does. A very nice job there, um, proto player, yeah. Definitely pat yourself on the back over this one. <laughs> very very nice stage, so yeah. Well, I guess that will be it for that. I don't have any more stages that I want to cover, so yeah, we'll just leave it at that. Thank you all. Thank you guys for submitting these uh, fine stages here, so yeah. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a nice weekend. <laughs>